Friday, people. Welcome to The Upkeep for Monday, November 4th, 2019. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. The first news item is Shoto Yasaoka winning the Pearl Division of the MPL Weekly Split. That's right. Do you know what? I reported on his round robin play this past week. Yes. He was playing Simic Food as opposed to all of the Sultai Food. Yeah. Which was the, six the new other hotness. players in the field. Yep. And I I loved it. Yeah. Um, it was really cool because he had four copies of Ether Gust. It's not cool that people have to main deck that card. <laughs> um, and four copies of Brazen Borrow- Borrower. And so while everyone was trying to go bigger with their Sultai, like putting in Massacre Girl and stuff, he just played a tempo game. Yeah. And it was really cool because you look at it and you look at Brazen Borrow and you're like, okay, all it does is like bounce something. But by the third time someone's casting a Wicked Wolf and he just gets to like land Anissa, it was really good. Yeah, super cool. I loved watching Innovation it. within yeah. a meta that some people think is just a nightmare. And you know what? They're exactly. not wrong. <laughs> it is a nightmare. It was still really cool, though, to see someone approach it differently and say, hey, what is my solution to this format being what it is right now? And this is something that we might see coming up at the Mythic Championship this weekend, which we'll talk about later, is little yeah. changes like this to an Oko metagame. Yes. Up next, the Extra Life fundraiser is happening right now. This is a fundraiser that Wizards of the Coast participates in every year and they have tons of cool stuff going on if you donate there's limited edition cards that you can get for donating there's special arena card sleeves my little pony yes that you can donate and get and then there's a bunch of watsy live streams happening up next some big news if you're a commander fan commander 2020 decks are on yes. the horizon this was a huge article that yeah. came out from gavin verhey talking about all of their plans for commander 2020 and boy are there oh, they've a got bunch plans. of them they've got plans First up, their big set of commander is going to be five decks next year instead of four. So usually they have the commander decks that come out every year, like Commander 2019 had four really cool pre-constructed decks. Oh, they're great. Yeah. This time there's going to be five instead of four. And instead of being their own thing, they're going to align with a Coria Lair of Behemoths. Which is uh, the magic set coming out after Theros Beyond Death. Um, and so the new cards from that are going to be set on Akoria, although okay. they're going to be completely different from the cards in their set. In, All right. In the set. So, so they're, they're going to be their own thing. In the monster's lair situation, yes. but they're not from the set. Okay. Yeah. And it, they can still have their own reprints from any sets. Sure. That makes sense. Um, and then in addition, they're launching two new decks with Zendikar Rising also, oh. which is the fall set next year, I want to yeah. say, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, which will have three new cards per deck and the rest are reprints because they said they wanted it to be fun to join Commander anytime during the year because they realized a lot of people were getting on board Magic by playing these Commander decks. Right. And they're like, well, what if you start playing in November and it's just like, well, you only had the four Commander decks that came out earlier in the year. Now you can instead come on, join Commander in the fall and be like, hey, there's still two sweet, cool new decks for me to try out now. This is a great idea. I mean, yeah. Commander is the most popular way to play Magic yes. in a constructed format. So I think Wizards is realizing that and yeah. capitalizing on and it. And we're not even done. Wow. So there's okay. also they're also launching something called the Commander Collection, starting with green. These are eight reprint cards themed to a color. And it seems like they might be some really hot cards in there. And there's going to be a regular version and a premium version, which means foil. So you can either get these eight reprints from the color, you know, in in regular card style or in foil. And there's also Commander Legends, <gasps> uh, which is some kind of Commander draft set. And what? they won't tell us draft? yet how to like how we're going to play it. But they did say there's going to be 20 card packs with a foil and two legendary creatures per pack. And then they'll have more on how it works close to closer to release and that will also launch with two new commander decks whoa i'm super here for commander draft that sounds awesome so there is so much commander product coming at you in commander 2020 and it seems like it's not just new commander product but they're like baseline rethinking the way that they launch commander to make sure that it's super exciting for people to start playing that year round not to mention command fest happening this past weekend out in seattle that's right and in chicago wow so tons of commander action coming at you if you're a commander fan yeah i mean you're gonna be drowning in it basically yep uh next up pioneer b and r announcements are going to happen every monday (laughs) every monday every single stinking monday it can always be no change which are like the bulk of the history of b and r announcements the bulk of them have been no changes 
Um, but they said they originally were just going to do it on a rolling basis. Like it could be any day of the week, any time, because they thought it would mostly be uh, magic online. Right. But it turns out a bunch of stores are embracing this. And so they want to have a little bit more structure. Yeah. And some big tournaments are actually changing from yeah. standard to Pioneer. That's right. Star City Games changed yeah. an event from standard to Pioneer. So Wizards is like, okay, well, we don't want to surprise somebody in the middle of their tournament. That's right. <laughs> With a ban. <laughs> like their tournament's happening and it's like BT does between rounds four Take and five. Take card out. Take it out. Take it out. Yeah. You're going to have a card banned. <laughs> so yeah, maybe today one coming up. Ooh. Who I, I want to know what it could be. Stay tuned. Um, There are also some MPL and Mythic Championship invite updates. Yeah. So this is something p- players have been waiting for a long time yes. to know what was up with these things called fractional invites. Yes. Which is kind of Wizards of the Coast response to people who used to be silver and gold level pros, bronze level pros, who were trying to earn or stay on the train towards the pro tour by doing consistently well at Grand Prix and players tours. Well, now they have some answers and it turns out that the answers are actually pretty good. Yeah. So the way it works is fractional invites are like exactly what it sounds like yeah. it turns out which is for a top finish at a grand prix or a players tour event you can get essentially a percentage of an invite right which means you stack them together and once you get above a hundred percent then you get an invite it's like a seven layer burrito of invites and yes. once you get the whole burrito you're good to go once, yeah exactly you start with the, the tortilla then you add the beans etc yeah so they say top finishers at grand prix and players tour tournaments will earn a percentage of an invite to the next players tour in addition to any direct invites earned so right you, if you get a full invite you'll also still get a percentage towards another one at the end of each qualifying round players that have earned a hundred percent or more towards an invite by combining both the current round and the previous round will be invited to that round's players tour so yeah so grand prix um for top eight you get 50 percent 39 or more match points 50 uh 36 or more match points 40 percent 33 or more match points 25 percent and 30 match points 10. wow that's actually not half bad honestly yeah. if i think about my finishes at grand prix yeah i probably could have stacked these up to a player's tour yeah uh and then for the players tour finishes there top eight is 70 percent 36 plus 70 uh 33 plus match points also 70 percent 30 plus match points 40 and 27 plus match points 30 percent i've seen a lot of people reacting to this on twitter saying hey i wasn't uh, grinding grand prix and stuff you know recently because we didn't know what value that would have and yeah. now we do and they say oh well these you know going x and four and x and three is a like, completely realistic goal for myself and so i might be able to stack these in points i'm going to start grinding Again. Yeah, pretty cool. Also, a small update to the MPL. Um, the winner of the World Championship will get an MPL invite for the next season if they're not already a member. Okay. Which that was just like a small yeah. thing, but some people had been like, hey, what if I happen to, you know, like win a mythic championship? <laughs> But I'm not part of the, like, I didn't get enough points to be part of the MPL. That's so sad. Like, the world champion not being in the MPL. Yeah, that would be kind of like, bad. No. That would be kind of bad. So, in the case that they didn't already have an yeah. invite to the MPL, they would get one. <laughs> Uh, uh, obviously, coming up this weekend, we've got Mythic Championship 6 in Richmond, Virginia. This is tabletop, meaning we'll have Throne of Eldraine draft. Yay! Which we are very excited for. Keepers. Ooh, thank goodness. And also Standard, yeah. which will probably be a lot of Oko, but here we go, I mean, Oko. Who knows? You've got to tune in to find out Friday yep. or Sunday. Twitch.tv slash magic. Yes. Uh, Festival of the Fae is happening right now in Arena Artisan is through the 6th, which is only commons and uncommons. So if you're sick of playing Oko and Constructed, it's not legal in Artisan, so yeah. get on Arena and play. <laughs> also banned in that format, Cauldron Familiar, Cavalcade of Calamity, Gates of Blaze, and Persistent Oh, I love it. Yeah. Great, get those cards out. <laughs> and you can win uh, those storybook card styles in this event, yeah, so that's very cool. fun. After this, another Festival of the Fae event with, uh, that's called something like Oko's Mastery, or I don't know, but Oko's in the name of it. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'm sure one. everyone, I think everything is just an L. <laughs> Not your lands, but every, all your creatures. Oh yeah, that's that is what this it is. is momier, but your creatures yeah. are out. <laughs> Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> oh, fun. Yeah. Lastly, there were two Grand Prix this past weekend as well. One in Lyon and one in Nagoya. Um, in Lyon, Ant Food took it down. All right. Um, Antoine Lagarde 
playing that. Then second was Soul Thai food. Third was Bant food. Fourth was Rakdos Aristocrats. Oh, really? Yes. All right. Fifth was Soul Thai food. Sixth was Four Color Aristocrats. Uh, wow. Seventh was Azorius Control. What? And eighth was Soul Thai food. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, fingers crossed for the Mythic Championship. I mean, you never know. There's also Grand Prix, as we said, in Nagoya. Uh, the winner there was Riku Kumagai with Simic food, and variants of the food archetype claimed seven of the top eight decks. Yeepers. Which is more what we expected. So that's five and seven. Ooh. Okay, then. <laughs> well, who knows what's going to happen in Richmond, but we'll both be there reporting yeah. on it to let you know. So tune into Twitter for Megan at the keys and tune on to Twitch for me with my mouth. Uh, <laughs> hear more about magic. That's the upkeep this week. Yeah, that's right. Also special good luck high five episode this week with Mark Rosewater. Yes, be sure to check that uh, out. Head designer of magic. So check it out. Go, 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 go.